EA just released an early access version for a Match 3 Plants vs Zombies game called Plants vs Zombies Match. As for the actual game itself, there's not really much to talk about. It's basically just a Plants vs Zombies Match 3 game, nothing too wild or extraordinary. What I want to talk about today instead is what this early access launch could mean for the Plants vs Zombies franchise as a whole. Despite the fact that I haven't made a video about the state of the franchise in quite a while, I have been watching the franchise closely. Or at least, what there is to watch, which isn't much. So this video will mostly be my opinions, predictions, and all of that about the franchise we so dearly love. And also instructions to get the game, because I already know a lot of you will be begging for a link or whatever. With that said, let's go. So the first thing that I want to point out is that, as far as I'm aware, this game is not being developed by PopCap. According to the Plants vs Zombies wiki, this game is being developed by Chocolate Panda, which is owned by EA. This is valuable information for a few reasons. Firstly, this means that PopCap isn't occupying themselves with this game. The employees at PopCap must be working on something else if they're working on any games at all. Given that Plants vs Zombies 3 was sunsetted by EA, the chances that they're working on Plants vs Zombies 3 are uncertain at best. But with this information, I can pretty confidently conclude that Plants vs Zombies match isn't impacting the development of Plants vs Zombies 3, or whatever bigger games PopCap may be working on in the background. This situation is kind of similar to how Game Freak outsourced Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl to a smaller developer, Ilka. But anyway, I digress. Looking at the game itself, we can see that most of the assets are just recycled from previous Plants vs Zombies games. For example, the music is recycled from Plants vs Zombies Adventures and Garden Warfare, while a lot of the graphics are recycled from the various Plants vs Zombies 3 versions. Gameplay wise, a lot of people have been arguing it's just a generic Match 3 puzzle game, taking elements from games like Candy Crush. And I can't really argue with that, we've seen what PopCap did with Plants vs Zombies 3, so this really isn't too surprising. It seems like the developers of these games are just on a constant mission to find the Krabby Patty formula of mobile gaming by testing out as many generic puzzle game elements as possible like lives, power-ups, and now a whole ass match 3 game. But to be fair, I think we can cut them some slack this time. Yes, it isn't very original or inspired, but no match 3 game really is. Also, you gotta remember this isn't PopCap making this, it's probably a good thing these developers are just working on a spin-off title. I don't think they're doing anything wrong necessarily by testing the generic puzzle game waters with a spin-off title as well. Hell, at least they're making a spin-off game to do this and not making the actual Plants vs Zombies 3 become a full-blown generic puzzle game. And that's definitely one of the optimistic parts of this game for me. Maybe, just maybe, PopCap are gonna focus on making Plants vs Zombies 3 more like Plants vs Zombies and less like a generic mobile game, leaving the generic mobile game for this Match 3 title instead. But that's being very optimistic. In reality, they're probably trying anything they can to make a quick buck from Plants vs Zombies IP before it dies. I've seen a lot of people also saying stuff like this game will be the end of PvZ or the nail in the coffin for the franchise. While I can certainly say that Plants vs Zombies stooping down so low to make a match 3 game is quite sad to see and also an indication of a desperate business decision for a falling franchise, I'm gonna disagree with these comments. At the bare minimum, at least this game is something rather than nothing. The long months of complete silence from Plants vs Zombies as a franchise was starting to scare me a bit, I'm not gonna lie, especially after the sunsetting of Plants vs Zombies 3. But hey, at the very least, this game is some decent news for the franchise, and shows that something is still being worked on. That leads me to another interesting point. An early version of this game was apparently released in 2021, but to be fair I had no idea so that's news to me. I guess the game has become bigger news now since we're also deprived of news about the franchise. Another point to note is the relationship to Bejeweled, which was another PopCap franchise that was most popular about a decade ago and is known by some as the game series that popularized the Match 3 genre. I find it quite ironic that PopCap all these years ago essentially popularized the very genre that is now being used by a different developer on their own IP, Plants vs Zombies. It really is a small world, isn't it? Anyway, I've heard people saying that PopCap should develop another Bejeweled game instead, but there's two reasons why that's unlikely and impractical. The first reason is that PopCap isn't making this game. Yes, EA could just get the Chocolate Panda guys to develop a Bejeweled game, but I don't see that happening. Why? Well, that ties into the second reason. EA sees more potential in Plants vs Zombies. 
you can't blame them, they are a business after all. And it is true that a generic mobile game with Plants vs Zombies slapped in the title will probably do better than one with Bejeweled slapped in the title. This is reflected by the fact that nearly all of the Bejeweled games were developed and published by Popcap before they were acquired by EA, who only published two Bejeweled games. One which is a Japanese exclusive that only lasted one year, from 2012 to 2013, and the other being a gambling game with real money. Wow, that definitely doesn't sound like something EA would publish. So in conclusion, do I believe that Plants vs Zombies matches the death of the franchise? No. Do I believe that it's the revival of the franchise? Hell no. All things considered, I don't think this game has the potential to impact the trajectory of the franchise in any meaningful way. I don't even know if it'll see the light of day or if it'll end up like Plants vs Zombies 3 in a permanent state of soft launch. After soft launch. After soft launch. After so At the very best, at least this game serves as something to talk about as a community to keep the spirit of the franchise alive. Or it could do the opposite and make all of us lose hope for the franchise, who knows. I think the money really will be won or lost for the franchise with whatever PopCap is doing in the background of all this. Whether it be Plants vs Zombies 3 or some other different game, I don't know. But whatever it is, let's hope it'll turn out great. Because if it doesn't, then I can see the case for the franchise's death becoming a lot more believable. Predicting the fate of Plants vs Zombies based on the soft launch of a spin-off match 3 game though is a little far-fetched for me personally. And before I end the video, since I know a lot of you will want to know, here's how to get the game. Open up Google Play. Yeah, it's only on the Google Play Store, so bad luck Apple users. And search up Plants vs Zombies Match. If the game doesn't come up, then you're not in one of the countries that the game is soft launched to, or your device just isn't compatible. I don't know any of the specifics about what countries the game is available in, and I haven't been able to find any discreet information from EA about it either. But as far as I'm aware, the game is available in Switzerland. Alternatively, I've put a download link in the description that I found on Redhead Gaming's livestream. So if you don't live in Switzerland, then there you go. That's about it from me, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Koala out.